Welcome to a tutorial that will revolutionize the way you manage data in Excel. In this session, we will explore how to split cell contents based on carriage returns or line breaks. Whether you're dealing with lists, addresses, or other multi-line data, these techniques will help you efficiently structure your information. We'll delve into two approaches. Using the text to columns feature and creating a custom VBA macro. Let's embark on this journey to improved data organization. Assuming that you have a list of data in range B1, B4, which contain text strings with carriage returns, and you want to split those cells based on the carriage returns or line breaks into separate rows or columns. Let's see the first method, where we'll employ Excel's text to columns feature to split cell contents based on carriage returns. In the first method, begin by selecting the cell containing the multi-line text that you want to split. Select the range of cells B1, B4. With the cell selected in the first method, navigate to the Data tab in the Excel ribbon. Find and click on Text to Columns within the Data Tools group. In the Convert Text to Columns wizard that appears, select Delimited as the data type and click Next. Now, specify the delimiter that separates your multi-line text. In most cases, this will be Other, and you'll need to type Ctrl plus J in the Other field. This key combination represents a line break character. Complete the wizard by clicking Next and adjusting any column formats if needed. Finally, select one cell as the destination cell, such as Put the result in cell C1, and you can type the value $C1 in destination text box and then click Finish button. Now, let's explore the second method where we'll create a custom VBA macro to split cell contents based on carriage returns. In the second method, access the VBA editor by pressing Alt plus F11. In the VBA editor, click Insert in the menu and choose Module to insert a new module. Inside the module, you'll write a custom VBA macro to split cell contents. Here's a sample code you can use. After writing the VBA code in the second method, you can run the macro by pressing F5 within the VBA editor. This will execute the code, splitting the cell contents based on carriage returns. With these two methods, you've learned how to efficiently split cell contents based on carriage returns. Choose the one that best suits your Excel workflow, and enjoy improved data organization. Note: Ensure you adjust the VBA code to match your specific requirements in the second method, 